Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question next permutation. A permutation of array of integers is arrangement of its members into sequence or linear order. For example, so you are given 1, 2, 3, and the following are all the permutations of 1, 2, 3. So 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. So for this question, um, so we are given a list of integers and uh, we need to find uh, uh, the next permutation of, uh, of the list in the lexicographic order. And uh, if um, so, if we are given like a three to one, so next permutation is one to three. Um, if there is a uh, no next permutation, we need to uh, return the list in like a reverse order, like this. So the replacement must be in place, and uh, use only constant extra memory. Yeah, so for this question, uh, I write down the, um, like a, a lot of permutation and uh, found the like a algorithm. So let me explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with uh, this example. So I wrote down the sum of permutations. So if we get the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 as an input array, so next permutation should be 1, 2, 4, 3, and next permutation should be 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 1, 4, 3, 2, and 2, 1, 3, 4, and continue. And uh, also I wrote down the step-by-step um, -step algorithm um, I found for this question. So, okay, so let's take uh, uh, 1, 3, 4, 2 as an input array. So 1, 3, 4, 2. And then uh, follow this algorithm. So first of all, we need to find the first decreasing element from the right end of the list. So we start from the last and try to find the uh, decreasing, first decreasing element. So now we are 2, so next number is 4. So 4 is a not a uh, decreasing element against 2. So in that case, we move next. And then uh, check the next number, 3. So 3 is a, a decreasing element against 4. So that means this is a 3 is a fast decreasing element. So we stop here. And then uh, next, we need to find the smallest element from the right side that is greater than uh, the first decreasing element. So we have to uh, find the uh, uh, smallest element but uh, greater than um, first decreasing element in the range like uh, this. So, ah, not this, <laughs> no, this. And then, um, Check the uh, so let's say uh, j pointer and then j pointer now pointing to and the first decreasing element is 3. So <coughs> this is a not like greater than the first decreasing element. So um, in that case, um, move next j is now 4 and then check the uh, compare the two numbers. Um, 4 is uh, greater than um, fast decreasing element and then uh, and then uh, smallest element also <laughs> because we have two choice 4 or 2 yeah so 4 is uh, a right number in the second um, algorithm and then um, we swap these two elements so uh, fast decreasing element and uh, uh, smallest element but greater than first decreasing element so we swap these two numbers in the case 1 4 3 2 right and then uh, finally we leave a uh, sublist from the first decreasing element to the end of the list yeah actually uh, this is not decreasing element from i to the end of the list so now I stopped uh, before a uh, fast decreasing element. So now index two. 
So that's why uh, we have to reverse from index 2 to end of the list, this area. So final permutation should be 1, 4, 2, 3. So that is the final permutation. Uh, so let's check. 3, 1, 3, 4, 2. One. So we are taking uh, this input array. So next permutation should be 1, 4, 2, 3 and uh, 1, 4, 2, 3. So it looks good. Yeah, so, okay, let's take uh, one more example. 1, 4, 3, 2, okay. 1, 4, 3, 2. And uh, let's begin. So first of all, uh, try to find the first decreasing element from the right side. So now I is here, and I check the next number, uh, not decreasing element. So move next, check the next number, 4. This is 4 is not decreasing element. Move next, and check the next number, 1. So 1 is a decrease, first decreasing element, right? And then uh, we need to find the uh, uh, smallest element from the right side that is greater than the first decreasing element. So we need to find the uh, uh, smallest element but greater than 1 in the range from like this and then um, so let's say uh, j j start from the last and check current number is 2 and uh, um, so first decreasing element is 1 so looks good so uh, 2 is a, a right number in the second step so after that we swap the this j number and the uh, first decreasing um, element. So we swap like two, four, three, and uh, one. And then um, uh, finally, we reverse the sublist from i to the end of the list. So i stop index one. So we reverse uh, three numbers, these three numbers. So final permutation should be 2, 1, 3, 4. So we take a 1, 4, 3, 2 as an input array. And the next permutation should be 2, 1, 3, 4. And the final permutation should be 2, 1, 3, 4. So looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. With that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. So first of all, uh, find the first decreasing element from the last. So I usually uh, use uh, four, uh, but uh, um, uh, we want to um, share the index number in like uh, each process. So that's why uh, in this case, um, so initialize i equal length of nums minus one. And uh, in this case, I use a uh, while i is greater than zero, and uh, nums i minus one is greater than or equal nums and i. In that case, um, we decrease the index number i minus equal one, and then if i equal zero so that means we didn't find uh, like a fast decreasing element that means um we just uh, reverse the input um array so reverse, huh? reverse and then return so that means like a three two one in that case uh, we don't find a um, decreasing element so in that case, um, just reverse and uh, get the one, two, three, like this. And then uh, after that, um, find the element and like uh, just larger than uh, decreasing element on the right side. So uh, we initialize another index j equal length of nums minus one, and the while j is uh, greater than or equal i and uh, nums 
j is、um, less than or equal、um, nums i minus one. In the case,、um, uh, we decrease the、uh, j index, so j minus minus equal one. And then、um, after that, we swap the number. So nums、um, i minus one. So remember, do you remember? So we stop the、um, index、uh, before、uh, decreasing element. So that's why we need to uh, like uh, minus one. And then、um, nums j equal nums j. And then nums i minus one. So this is a very like a Python way.、Uh, and then、uh, we can、uh, swap the two num、uh, two elements. And then、uh, at last、um, nums and、uh, i、um, colon. So reverse the、uh, sequence from i. To the end of the list, so just reverse and then nums i colon. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So where n is a length of input array. So this is because we traverse the list only twice and perform constant time operation within the each、uh, traversal. So that's why、uh, order of n. So space complexity should be order of one, because we don't use extra data structure growing with the size of input array. So we only use a few constant variables to keep track of indices and the temporary value、um, for like a swapping element. So that's why、um, space complexity should be order of one. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.